appearing at the local hospital. So nice, nice, nice. good guy. Get Kong that, Kong. get that experience. Yeah, those hours. All right, so we're gonna have the same matchup in grand finals that we did losers finals. It's gonna be Luigi versus Snake. That's right. But I mean, the two, those, these two Luigis, they're they're just night and day when it comes to their playstyle. You know, Elegance is that much more aggressive. Oh, Kong Kong is more laid back, more tries to tries to bait you into approach. Yeah, and I so Snake is that heavy character, very good uh, combo weight for Luigi. But I just feel like what you know Snake's general game plan, it, it can be very like counterintuitive to Luigi's right. um, game plan. Uh -huh. You know, if you always have a nade by your foot, if you're always playing safe. Then if you always have that backup plan, so when Luigi does get the grab, it's like, oh, there's a nade, I can stop this combo, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like it can be pretty difficult for Luigi to get in, but when Luigi does find his opening, he can make, you know, he can make Snake suffer a lot. That's for true. Right, as you can see, only 42% onto Elgin. That down throw into up tilt is going to reward him a stock. Yeah, that is true. As long as you throw them, as long as you do the down throw and they're at like a 160 or higher, that up tilt follow up is guaranteed. Ooh, good. There's the forward smash. Key going kind of low here. Oh, almost catching him. Yeah, using the Nair just to make sure that Elgin doesn't try and be aggressive and challenge his recovery. Oh, the double grab. Oh, and there it is. The down throw to up be the equalizer here for Elegant, nailing that stock. And that's one thing that can be pretty difficult against Snake is getting that stock. Oh, but something started here and no grenades on the ground. So no new grenades, and that's just going to be the opportunity that Elegant looks for. But Key entering right back with a couple up airs of his own. Ooh, even giving them the stair stepper. Yeah, all these fireballs are doing really, really good work against these uh, up smash setups that he is trying to set up on the edge. Ooh, a mix up, and that's right. Jab one, two into down throw up B. What? Yeah. Caught him sleeping, man. And that that has been the savior here, man. Like, just killing Snake off grab at, like, 90. <laughs> that's insane. Killing Snake off at 90 in general? Yeah, yeah like, before the throw, <laughs> you just get him at, like, 90 or 100. Down throw into the up B, man. And that is really... Oh wow! Oh okay. Yeah, going with that Zare into down air, but Key gonna find his C4. That's gonna bring the stocks even. Yeah, fifty percent here. Oh Cipher. Oh, he wanted a be versus that. That might have been a KO. He had no rage, but uh, that move was very strong. Mm -hmm. Zare stepping back, and now that's gonna allow him. Wow, big F smash in. That grenade. That RPG is no joke. Directional air dodge right into the up tilt, but the up tilt hits him back onto stage, which is what Elegant wants. He just needs to get on stage. His character it has a very bad recovery, but on stage, Luigi, Luigi has some stuff. Oh, there it is, the anti air up tilt. Man, he able to take game one. Now, I saw him going for a set that we saw similar in the previous sets against Kong Con. Uh huh. Is that he will put the, um, the Nikita in a position where Elegant was able to hit it. Like really losing its hitbox uh, in danger, and allowing Elegant to pass through it. But it's so close to a platform or the stage, they just explodes it onto the stage, and then Elegant still gets hit. Oh yeah, yeah. Fun fact: Nikita has 25 health. If you do 25 damage to it, it'll just fade away. Yeah. <laughs> or explode, but like not much. <laughs> oh, the grenade actually stopping the combo. Grenade coming out. Frame one, the soonest possible frame. Very, uh, any frame one move, very excellent for combo breaking. Mm -hmm. And uh, Grenade definitely playing its role here. But Elgin knows all about combo breaking. He's been com breaking combos with Nair for years. Yeah. And blank, point blank fireball like that will be negative on hit. Great punish coming out from Key. Grenade yeah. set up once again. Yeah, you look like he was even trying to set up on those platforms, but as you can see, just not getting opportunity. Whoa, what was that launch? Yeah, he, he was uh, definitely DIing out there. Oh man, and the nade coming in clutch once again. Another shot at the Nikita dash tag. Does not find it, but Tornado turning the situation around. Mm -hmm. Giving elegant oh. stage control, and now that back air does hit Cypher, but it is going to allow uh, he to reset with that Tornado. And Such a big hitbox. Yeah, really big hitbox. Has intangibility on the startup as well. Uh, very great anti-air. But we could see a zero to death here or just a lot of damage. 50% off the grab and a spot dodge up tilt. We'll clean it up here for Key. Mm -hmm. Now, going back to setting up his traps, we see Cy 
and a grenade on the ground and then Cypher away just to make sure that Elgin isn't able to really get any momentum with his invincibility. You know, one thing I want to see a lot more players do is uh, when they tech, tech wall jump directional air dodge towards the stage. Like every character can do that. Tech wall jump directional air dodge towards, the, the, stage. towards the stage. Because you saw like most characters when they tech wall jump, they like use a special to get back to the ledge. But if you tech wall jump into directional air dodge to the ledge, like or oh, onto the stage. I see. Yes, yes, yes. I see. It. I mean, technically, Snake could just be reverse grenade instead of directional air dodge, which would be even better. But, but yeah, that takes a lot of awareness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see it in the next year. Okay. Well, you can see Key is able to take a second stock. Elegant. Having a little bit of difficulty here in Grand Finals, adjusting to uh, pretty much all the <laughs> matchup knowledge that Key's obtained throughout this tournament. Yep, and uh, man, that tornado off the top, he was at 180. That was like super, super unnecessary, but we'll definitely get the job done, wiping the slates clean here. A stock apiece, but Elegant with 88 on him. And sometimes it's about securing that kill. Don't leave it up to chance. You never know what's going to go wrong. Just just pick that option that you know is going to work. Okay, Elegant doing a great job getting around these Nikitas. Such a strong tool here, and here's the grab with no nades. And, right. oh! Oh, <laughs> yep, extra rage. It's going to be just the extra oomph that Elegant needs to make yep. sure that stock is, in fact, gone. Yeah, I think without the rage, he actually would not have taken the stock. So he w It would have been very close. But yeah. Yes, yeah, I don't believe he would have taken the stock either. I've definitely seen uh, the zero, like that variant not kill. Um, it's like decently heavy. But, yeah, I mean, nonetheless, what a clutch comeback from Elegant. And that's, you got to be careful. As key, he knows that's on the table. And that's why, time and time again, you always want to set up a situation as Snake, especially when you're at zero, especially when you're susceptible to that specific zero to death. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta play really safe. Always have a grenade by the foot. Okay, and as you can see, he's starting to do that. I mean he he may it only really takes one mistake for, for you to lose a stock and not having that ins extra insurance of a grenade by you. As you can see, he's making sure that insurance is there. He's paid his dues. There's a gas coming out. Now there's that sneaky grab trying to come out for Elegant. He'll set up the up smash. Ooh, okay, get the down air going here. Okay, rolling back to his grenade, very smart. Not going to put himself in much danger, even if he does get hit by it. And that, that's another uh, move that they made not like not horrible. Luigi dash is actually like. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's still silly, though. <laughs> it's still silly, but <laughs> it it works. That's true. I mean, you can't complain if it works. Man, Luigi's got to take whatever they can get nowadays. <laughs> There's that oh. double jab. Ooh, and if he doesn't have, if he's not in the percent range for the up B to connect, he'll just use the tornado, that down B. Mm -hmm. Oh, messing Ooh. up the link for the, the zero to death combo. The whole directional air dodge up. Wow, that actually yeah. is. <laughs> I feel like he was mashing. <laughs> yeah, that could have been buffered. Yeah, true. Oh, and the Nikita will find its mark. And man, honestly, we haven't seen Elegant get hit by too much of those, which is very, very impressive. Ooh, the Zare and the grab. Zero six mm -hmm. Okay, rolling back to stage, and now it's time to set up a grenade. Oh, going for the big play with the forward air. Now he's off stage, no jump throws, the directional air dodge, the tornado doesn't connect, but Elegant drifting away with it. Okay, grenades are out, but the back air does connect onto Key. And now we see Elegant setting up his edge guards. Uh, setting up the fireball, setting up the plunger. Yep, there it is. Ooh, what a bait coming out from Elegant. And that's something that's really slept on. Um, Luigi's back there actually stronger in this game. Right, okay, here we go. Oh wait, yeah, this could this could be it here, or at least a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, he's not gonna go for that B because he knows it's not gonna kill on this stage, especially with no rage. No rage, town and city, uh, town and city definitely being the uh, highest ceiling out of all the legal stages. So Helgen just cashing out with, I mean, 88 damage, pretty good. That's right, and that's what really allowed him to put even more damage onto Key and taking game three. Yeah, one thing we're seeing a lot more with Luigi nowadays as well are these sour nair confirms. Um, we're seeing a lot more of the uh, down throw into the up B, mm -hmm. and we're also seeing, um, I'll, I'll see Elegant like, even or even down throw into down B, the tornado. Yeah, or tornado I've, chasing. Yeah, or I've even seen tornado setups from Sour Nair. 
He hits the Sour Nair at around 100, goes into the Nato, kills him off the side. Yeah, there's actually a setup that I would see quite often from both Kong Kong and Elegant that I haven't really seen in this matchup just because of his opponent being Snake. But they will typically see the Luigi's, you know, dropping down and recovering with Tornado. Just, you know, expanding those invincibilities and really using it as a counter option. Yeah, kind of like some really long-lasting uh, falling hitbox. Mm -hmm. hey, crossing open there and allowing Key to connect an S to Oh, Elegant answering right back. I don't like it onto the platform. Tries to get a reset there, but still mission accomplished. Oh, and got him enough damage for that up B to KO right off the top. That's right. You cannot be landing in front oh, of Luigi. No. You can't even touch their shield because similar punishes will happen. Yeah, and I feel like he is just he's he's doing these dash attacks that are getting punished and I feel like he's losing his patience compared to game number one. I feel like he wants to cross up with those dash attacks, but even then, Elegance can just be reversed the up B, yeah. still, you know, getting that optimal pun in. Yeah, exactly. And when, especially when you lose the lead as a zoner, uh, it, it just gets really troublesome because, I mean, your opponent doesn't really have to approach you. Like, you can keep chucking nades, but... You know, if they're patient enough, it, it's just they, they don't have to really penetrate your zone and they can wait even longer and take more time to find their opening that they need. Okay, well, there's the Tornado chasing, even waiting to see what the option would be from Key. Does land Tornado, but not enough to kill. You see another Tornado putting put out as a threat. Good pivot grab and a back throw. Now Elegant setting up his lead trap once again. And I like how he's using this Tornado to catch landing as well. It's a lingering hitbox, so... You're going to catch like directional air dodges or just like air dodges in general because it's just lingering for so long. Mm -hmm. Just like that, Elegant taking that second stock and a grab just to start off this. It could kill, yes, on Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, what a clutch way. Hypest combo from Elegant to end Wednesday night fights. Yeah, that's another one in the books here for Luigi. And again, I just I feel like Elegant gets the gets the stock lead or gets the percentage lead, and then Key is not playing the anti-Luigi game. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, you got to pay your insurance, you know? And you the gotta, thing, you don't pay your bills, that grenade's not going to be there. Yeah, and the thing is, too, it's, I mean, that's just Snake's general game plan. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're playing, I guess, quote-unquote, like, standard Snake, and I know Key doesn't always play standard Snake, but, like, man, sometimes if, if you can die off one neutral, like, one <laughs> bad neutral exchange, you, you have to play like that. You yeah. have to respect... The fact that I can lose a stock at zero from grab here, I have to play around that to make sure that if, like, worst case, that it's not possible to get a grab. Right, right, right. Well, he's going to take second place here at Wednesday Night Fights, and our Wednesday Night Fight champion tonight is going to be Elegant. Yeah, good stuff to Elegant. Uh, I feel like Luigi definitely starting to click for Elegant, and he's definitely starting to find a lot of interesting setups, you know. I mean, I, I definitely was on that train of Luigi sucks. I still don't think super highly of the character, uh -huh. but I'm glad that Elegant, I mean, if that's who he truly enjoys to play, he's finding a way for that character to work for him. And he's yeah. definitely putting in the work. I'm seeing all these uh, new setups for Luigi mm -hmm. and he's getting these stocks, <coughs> winning these tournaments. Yeah, my favorite so far that just from like all the new uh, techniques that Elegant's been putting into play is the <laughs> jab one, two, into grab because it's catching a lot of people off guard. You know, you really shouldn't be able to stop your jabs yeah. and convert into something else with the way that Smash Ultimate jabs work. Yeah. But a lot of people are just be getting caught sleeping, yeah, sleeping getting grabbed, the and then at the same time, you know, that grab can lead to a down throw, a tornado chase, up B, dealer's choice at that point. Yeah. And uh, Elegant is making it work. Yeah. And uh, I mean, a, a pretty early finish, honestly. I know we didn't have a ton of entrance. Um, we had about like 50 or 60. Uh, I believe this is like the last finals week or one of the last finals weeks. So everyone finishing up school. And the th summer of Smash is about to hit. It's on the way. I'm not ready. It's on the way, guys. Are you ready? I, I'm not ready. I, I feel <laughs> I'll be like honest. I, I, I'm telling myself I'm ready, but I'm actually not ready. My body's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> but um, And speaking of not ready, because we're going to have to be here quite, a, quite longer, a lot yeah. longer than normal. Uh, in a couple weeks because we're going to have the Wednesday Night Fights finale here uh, in, in the couple weeks. I want to say two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. And that's going to have a 15K <laughs> pot bonus 
with a 256 man cap. So if you're in SoCal and you're watching, you want to be a part of it, I suggest re registering online to make sure that you can in fact get a spot. Yeah, I don't, wait, is there a cap? Yes, 256. Oh, dang. We yeah. are putting a cap on that B because I don't want to be here until five in the morning. All right. Yeah. We would be here when, when Esports Arena opens the next day. Yeah. If we didn't cap it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, make sure you guys are entered for that tournament. $15,000 is a lot of money, a lot more. I, it, it's crazy because that this local in two weeks is going to have a bigger prize pool than most majors. It is. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Ooh. It's actually very wild. <laughs> That's crazy. Did you want to do the number one? Or? Yeah, you're number one. We got you. What? Oh, you want to say one thing? All right. Just one thing. You don't even want to send them, man? Do you want me to? I mean, it's kind of have to, man. You want Damn, to. okay. I'll say, like, two things then. All right, say two things. So we just high tier. We just high tier. Hot take. High tier. Hot take. You got to say hot take. It hot is a hot. It is a hot. It's, it's a hot take. It's Not a lot of people think that. <coughs> but it's true. I respect your opinion, but you got to say hot take. Fine, hot take. All right, hot take. <laughs> <laughs> He's high tier. All right, Luigi's high tier. And what what else? Um Well, uh I guess I got I I guess I got to do it, huh? Right, right. All right. So, uh when I uh last time I did I did down throw down B. Right. And they, they put him in a certain place. So now I'm going to do um I'm going to do uh Azura death and then send some to the skies. 